Hello loves, it's Brittany Vatan and today we are going to be doing something very, very exciting. I am making the Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino Slime. Yes, so we have our Elmer's School Glue. I bought a gallon of it from Michael's. We also have some food coloring and some Stay Flow. Now, with the Stay Flow, I bought that at Walmart and we got a half gallon of that. So we'll move everything out of the way so that we can go ahead and get started with our slime today. Okay, so I have my bowl here, which I'll be mixing everything in. I have two measuring cups and I have four stirring popsicle sticks that I also bought from Michaels. Uh, we will be doing four different colors today. I'll probably only be using three of the sticks since our first color is white, but you know, it's always safe to have more than not have enough. So we'll go ahead and get started with measuring everything out. Now for this recipe in particular, you need a half of a cup of the glue. So let's go ahead and get that measured out and then we'll dump it into the bowl. Okay, so we'll need a third a cup of Stay Flow. Again, I bought this at Walmart. It was in the aisle with uh, like fabric softener and stuff like that. After we put the Stay Flow and the glue together, we're gonna add some fine white glitter, just give a little bit of sparkle and shine to the white layer of our slime. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and give this a stir with one of our stirring sticks. And one thing I did want to discuss with you guys, if you do decide to make this slime, now me, myself, I have not made slime in a very long time and I've never done it with this recipe with these ingredients, but it does take a long time to work it. So make sure you stir it up a little bit and then work it with your hands as much as you can. Usually it takes an average of seven minutes for it to fully mix up and turn out perfect. So here we go. I'll show you guys what we have here. This is our white layer of slime. I think it turned out perfect. Again, like I said, you do need to work it with your hands just like I am right now so that it does turn out perfect and everything is together and it's right. Now, I'm going to be placing the slimes on some parchment paper, which I also bought from Walmart. Um, as I make them so that they can lay out, hang out, chill, and then we can go ahead and combine everything in the end. So we have our white slime here going on the parchment paper, and we're gonna get started with the pink slime. So I'm really excited about this. The Starbucks Frappuccino, Unicorn Frappuccino, has an awful lot of pink in it, so I want to do more pink than the other colors when we go ahead and mix it in the end but we'll just see how that turns out. So again, we are doing a half of a cup of Elmer's glue. Make sure we get every last drop in there. And then before we add the Stay Flow, I wanna go ahead and get our pink color just right, cause it'll be much easier to mix the food coloring into the glue than to mix it into the solution afterwards. So we'll go ahead and get this all mixed up and get the perfect pink. I added a little bit to begin with because you can always add more and more if it doesn't turn out right, if it isn't enough, but you can never take it away. So I added little bits at a time and hopefully we can get the perfect pink. Okay, so it turns out that we actually needed even more pink than that, so we're going to add that. We're looking for a really nice Barbie pink. Ooh, maybe that's an idea for the future, you never know. Okay, now that we have the perfect pink, we're gonna go ahead and add a third a cup of Stay Flow, and then again, we're gonna mix this up and work with it a little bit so that we can get it the correct consistency and get a really, really nice slime. We're gonna add a little bit of glitter to this one as well. I wanna add the white fine glitter to every layer, every color that we do. All right, so now we have our stirring stick. We're gonna give this a little bit of a stir as well. And then after that, we're gonna work it with our hands for a little bit and try to get that perfect slime consistency. Again, don't give up if you're getting frustrated, if it feels really stringy, cause it will for a while, or if it's sticky or slimy, just keep working with it until it turns out right. Okay, so here is our finished product for the pink layer of slime. I think it turned out great. It is a very, very nice texture and consistency, and it'll look great when we mix it. Next, we are going to move on. We, again, are measuring out a half a cup of Elmer's glue. Thank you. 
And for this one, we will be using Violet Candy Coloring to get a really nice purple color for this layer. Again, go ahead and put a few drops in there, mix it up, and if it turns out too light, you can always add more to get the perfect desired color that you are looking for. Our purple turned out a little bit lighter than I was planning on, so we'll go ahead and add some more purple coloring and give it a stir and see how this one turns out. Oh wow, yes, this is the purple I was looking for. Let's go ahead and stir this up and see what the finished product looks like right before we go ahead and add our stay flow and make this layer of slime. All right, so we are measuring out again a third a cup of stay flow. We'll go ahead and pour that in there. We'll grab our stirring stick and mix this up a little bit. And I'm going to work this a little bit with my hands and I will be right back. All right, and here is our purple layer of slime. It is a little bit different from the other layers that we've done so far. I did have a little bit of a difficult time with stirring. It did not fully absorb all of the stay flow. Um, not sure why, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next layer. Again, measuring out a half of a cup of Elmer's glue. For this layer, we will be using the blue candy coloring to get that really nice blue color to this layer of slime. We're adding a lot of coloring to this one, and remember to do it in the glue phase, but we're adding a lot because I want that really nice, bright, vibrant blue. After that, remember we're adding a third a cup of Stay Flow again so that we can get that nice slime consistency after we mix everything up. So we'll grab our stir stick and get to stirring a little bit before I start working it with my hands. I like to at least mix it up a little bit with the stick before I just dunk my hands in there. Oh, and before I forget, we need to go ahead and add the rest of our glitter because this is actually the last layer, the last color we will be doing. So we will go ahead and stir this up. I will mix it up with my hands and then I'll be back and you can see what the final layer looks like. And there it is. There is our beautiful blue layer. Like I said, I wanted a nice, bright, vibrant blue. And as you can see, it turned out absolutely perfect. So now I think it is time for us to move everything out of the way and mix up all of our colors so we can finally get our Starbucks unicorn frappuccino slime all taken care of. So we'll start with our white layer here and then we're gonna add the pink layer on top of that. So we have our pink here. I want to kind of roll it into a long strand and then we'll place it right on top in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because once you mix everything together and start to play with it, it's going to be perfectly fine. So it doesn't have to look great during this stage. So right now we are rolling the blue so that we can put it beside the pink. There we go. And we'll tear off a little bit from the ends too. It looks like it's a little bit too long. There we go. Pat that down, and now we need to add our purple. So again, the purple turned out a little bit different 
from the other colors. It did not pick up as much of the stay flow as the other ones did. The other ones actually absorbed all of it, but this one had a little bit that it would not pick up. And it took a little bit longer and a little bit more working with it to actually get it to the correct consistency. But we finally got it here. So when we actually go ahead and mix it with the other colors, it'll turn out perfectly fine. So there we go, we'll pat that down. And now I'm going to pick everything up and we are going to stretch and work with this to finally turn it into the unicorn frappuccino slime that we came here to make. There we go, fold that over and we'll go ahead and stretch this out. And here is our finished product. You can see all the different colors in there. And we have our pinks right here, we have the purple here, and then we have some blue right there. And then we actually have some white in here as well for the whipped cream part of the Frappuccino. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I love how you can see all the different colors. If you work it too much, you will blend it. So make sure you don't work it too much to keep it separated. But if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comment section what you think about it, if you plan on trying it, and if you want to see more slime videos in the future. I'll see you in the next video. Adios!